Check this out, guys. A mission to touch the sun. That is what we are talking about this morning. So NASA's Parker Solar Probe has just finished up its first year of studying the sun from closer than ever before. And the results are in, and pardon the pun, the results are sizzling hot. <laughs> We're doing a God a minute a little differently this morning. So if you have a few minutes, we're joined by Eric Christian, a NASA scientist, to tell us more. Eric, good morning to you. This is exciting stuff. So tell us, what do we need to know about what Parker's been doing and, and doing so close to the sun? Good morning. So this is a mission that we've wanted to do since the dawn of the space age. And only now has the technology allowed us to launch this last year. Parker Solar Probe is dipping down into the atmosphere of the sun to go where the action is, to understand some key questions about the sun that we've, we need to solve in order to understand not only the sun, but the space weather that can affect us here on Earth. So first, first question for you, Eric, here. I got to ask you, you just said dipping into the outer atmosphere of the sun. Sounds pretty hot, right? Um, how is it able to do this without melting or burning up? Well, I like to joke that my instrument and most of the spacecraft hides in the shadows. We've got an enormous heat shield on the front of the spacecraft, and that heat shield is made out of this special carbon foam, and the front side of it, at closest approach, gets hot enough to melt aluminum, but the back side, where the electronics are, stays at basically room temperature. Wow. It's really an amazing piece of technology. You mentioned studying uh, space weather, you know, which in involves solar winds and all that. It's probably one of the, a, a really important thing that you're studying that would impact us here on Earth. How does what you're learning about these solar winds impact us here on the planet Earth? So the solar wind and the magnetic field that comes along with it can cause what are called geomagnetic storms on Earth that can affect the power grid. Plus, as we get more reliant on spacecraft in orbit and as astronauts go beyond the protective region of the Earth's magnetic field, they're susceptible to what are called solar energetic particles, particles that are moving at nearly the speed of light that come from solar storms, and they can actually cause radiation sickness in astronauts. So we need to understand mm. some basic science in order to protect them. And it sounds like this report that you guys are getting from Parker is actually you're learning that these solar winds are stronger and that, uh, a little bit you know, more turbulent than, than you thought originally. Yeah, so we're seeing small jets and blobs and all sorts of weird things that get washed out in the 93 million miles between the sun and the earth. And those little fluctuations are the key, the clues to understanding how the solar wind gets formed. Eric Christian, it's important stuff, and uh, we look forward to uh, hearing more about what the Par Parker Solar Space Probe finds. Uh, obviously, important research as we move forward in our space exploration. Thanks for joining us this morning. Guys, speaking of space, actually, today, right in our backyard, uh, SpaceX will be launching the Falcon 9 uh, rocket today, actually, to go into space to resupply the International Space Station. Launch expected at 1229. Right now, weather forecast for 80% go for launch. We will be streaming this launch live on the 10 News Facebook page beginning just before that launch. Again, that is at 1229.